Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson in uh, doing it is a channel. Uh, in this lesson, as I mentioned, I'm going to create a simple drop down list. So it's a simple short tutorial on how to create a drop down list with uh, database records. I mean, the drop down list will be populated by the database records. So let's get into branches section and let's create. And as you can see, we have to have a drop down list for the company's company ID. To do this, uh, we need to go uh, to company in that uh, company form and not the company actually, the branch, sorry, branch form. And mm, we want a drop down list. So as you can see, uh, I hope you know this, uh, this uh, PHP uh, short tag version for echo uh, is written this way. Uh, this is same as PHP echo. So this is the same thing as this. And I hope you know that. So let's create a drop down form. form and field mm, pass in the model. And we want the companies company ID and we want a drop down list so drop down list and sorry drop down list oops what's happening I added some plugins to the to my sublime text that's why this is coming up so first uh, we need uh, we need the data so we need a class array helper class array helper and we're going to use, come on, map. And this uh, function has three parameters. The first parameter is we're going to get the data from the database record. So to do this, we need company's model, company's model, and we want to find all. So next two parameters are the company ID and the company name. Company name. So this is going to be the value of the select option and this is going to be the actual value shown in the drop down list. And next is we are going to create a simple prompt but I should remove that plugin. Uh, we're going to say prompt equal to uh, company select company select company. Okay. And uh, next thing we have to do is, as you know, we have in you we are going to use the company's model to do so. To use this in here, if you control save this and check out the branches and we'll get the error. The error is uh, not the syntax error. Hmm. Drop down list, show it ends here. And Come on, come on. Okay, just, just uh, the error. First error we should get is companies find all. Hmm. Okay, just get rid of this for now. We don't want it. Uh, let's check it again. Unexpected. Oops. Sorry. Let's let me undo. And this has to be a function, obviously. And we get the class array helper is not found. That means we are using this class. This is the array helper class. It's in the event. If you, you can go check out where it is, it's in the vendor section. Go to eSoft. See, and I think there is array helper here. I'm not sure where it is right now, but I think it's in this directory, the class. So we want use ye helpers and 
array helper save and let's refresh again and we'll okay now we have the array helper class but we don't have the class of companies so to use companies we should uh, i mean to get data from companies we should include that so use again remember the namespace backend models and the name of the com control uh, model companies okay so let's save and there we go we get that and let's remove this we don't want that and we have created our drop down list so so let's change this company company id to company name to do this go to the model of the branches model and change the attribute to company name okay so we have created another another branch and some another branch address and status is active and let's save and we'll get it saved okay mm, i think uh, you have to do this for the departments as well as you might remember the department has two drop down lists you have to create the branches drop down list and the company's drop down list i'm go not going to do that because it's it's going to be the same thing i repeated for the branches section so i hope you guys get it done uh, if you have any questions please don't comment down below uh, and yes subscribe to my channel uh, like my tutorials comment uh, and let me know what you want next uh, okay then have a good day take care bye